What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video I want to show you two new plugins from Waves. That's the CR8 Creative Sampler and the Cosmos Sample Finder. CR8 is a easy to use sampler that allows you to layer up to eight sounds at once, and Cosmos is a sample finder that goes with CR8 that takes your entire sample library, it'll analyze it, auto tag it, and present it in an intuitive star map interface, making it easy to find your samples. Let's take a closer look. So this is CR8, and I've got a track here that I made using all sounds from CR8, or sounds that I've sampled into CR8 that I'll let you hear shortly. Uh, but first, let's go over the controls. And right off the bat, this user interface, it's very easy to use, very easy to understand, and I could find everything easily when I first used it. Some samplers are, I would call, overwhelming and just have so many buttons and controls that it just gets overwhelming to me, but this, I found to be very easy to use. All right, so controls. The first thing you see in this upper left is this icon here, and this is going to launch Cosmos, uh, which is the sample finder. We'll get into that a little later. This, uh, like I said, is eight eight sounds that you can layer on here. So this does have a full set of preset sounds in here. I'm, I'm using one of them now. And on this pad, you see that we have three sounds here. This one, this one, and this one. And all together, it sounds like this. All right, so when you're sampling into here, you can take one of these samples, and if you want to copy it so you can uh, further process it, manipulate it, modulate it, whatever you want to do, you can just click hold this and drag it over, and it's going to create a copy. If you want to create just a blank spot for another sample, you just click the plus. And again, we have eight of these. Over here, we have your uh, keyboard ranges for each sample. You have a mixer, and then you've got your tune, find, blend. You can click that to turn on glide. And let's go back to the samples. Launch and play. So play, you're going to hold it, and it's going to play the sound. And it'll stop when you let go. On launch, if you just hit your key or pad, it'll play it all the way. So depending on you know how you want to uh, use the sample, you can use it in launch mode or play mode. This is where CR8 really gets interesting to me, where we have harmonic here. If we hit this drop down, we have five different time stretching algorithms here that you can choose for your sounds. And through the preset library, it's going to set, it's going to select the one that it feels best fits it. If you're bringing in your own samples, you may need to adjust this to fit what you uh, to fit what you're doing. Here we have our sync options, and we've got transients. And while I'm pointing this out also, when you first start using this, you may want to go here and just select this uh, show tool tips. And then anything that you hover over in the bottom left corner, it'll show you uh, what that parameter or feature does. We've got unison, uh, soft mono. And with the sample here, you can, uh, you've got swap mode here that you can select. What swap mode is going to do if you bring in a new sample, it's going to keep uh, some of these features or features, some of these parameters set the same if you bring in a new sample. So if you bring in a new sample and you want to keep some of the same settings, you want to have swap mode on. And uh, you can check out the manual to see exactly which one of those will change or not change. And over here, you have a snap mode. So we can snap to beats and we can also snap to transients. Uh, making it easier to move, oh, let me grab it, to move this around here, snap it to the beat or to the transient. All right, below that, we've got gain, root, and BPM. It's going to be the BPM of the sample. You can click this to suggest a BPM. And tune, we got your loop here, speed controls, width, pan, volume, a filter section here, ADSR section, and if we click this drop down, if you've used Vocal Bender, this will be very familiar with you. The modulation that you have here, we can click and hold that. And any of these boxes you see, we can drop it to manipulate any one of those. All right, <clears throat> let's check out Cosmos now. So again, we click this to launch Cosmos. And 
so Cosmos, you have Loop and One Shot. And I'll go straight to the Cosmos view here. Click this. It's going to open up the Cosmos view. And this is only going to be for one shots. But the way this sorts your samples, we've got brightness, space, saturation, dynamics, and instrument. And you can basically think of this as left to right. So as far as brightness, on the left is going to be your darker sounds. And on the right is going to be your brighter sounds. And that goes for each one of these options here. Now, under folders here, this one that says sounds, that's my sample library that I pulled in. And you literally just have to drag and drop a library or drag and drop a folder in here. And Cosmos will do the rest and it'll take a little while to analyze it. I'm going to turn this off for right now just so we can see just the sounds that comes with Cosmos. So Cosmos does come with over 2,500 uh, one shot and loops uh, for you. And here we can change views. We've got this view this view and then of course the Cosmos again Cosmos is only on one shots we can select favorites and once you find a sample that you want and then here of course we can easily search for samples or filter them out here but in Cosmos let's uh, let's find something here all right let's let's, let's say we want to work with that to get this over into CR8, we've got a couple options. We can click here and just drag it over here. We can do that. Let me actually, let's close these and we'll just start with one. So I can grab this and just drag it over here and do it like that. Or let's find another sample. We'll take that for example another way we can get it is just by clicking the name if we just click the name you'll see it will show up over here in CR8 also with these uh, folder views you have a, a collections where you can set up collections of these samples as well all right so I'm gonna let you hear what I what I've put together here with a cost with uh, CR8 with the sounds from CR8 and I'll play this track and then we'll go through uh, what I've done. Okay, so let's start from the top. We have the drum kit that I used here is just one of the drum kits that came with CR8. And I'll just solo that here. And we've got the sub bass here. So one thing I want to point out on this sub bass, a, a cool uh, feature, and I don't use a lot of samplers, so I don't know if this is unique to CR8 or if all samplers do this, but you see that this sample played, and then when it got to the loop point, it just kept looping in there. I'm going to play that again. So that's something you can do with CR8. Uh, this next track, so this is the Waves Electric 88. What I did was I played this. So I played that, and then below that is where I bounced it, and then I sampled that into CR8, and then I was able to get this. And so I was also using some of the uh, modulation here on the cutoff. And let's see the next track here. Okay, so this is Waves Flow Motion. I played uh, this. And 
and then bounced it and put it into uh, CR8 and then I was able to get this. So let me explain what is going on here. I'm using the uh, seesaw mode and what that does is it's going to play the sample forward and then when it reaches the end it's going to play it backwards. So you're hearing it play forward and then on the next bar it's playing backwards. Play that one more time. All right, next track. This is, oh, I didn't use that one. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is the pad. Okay, so the pad, oh, this is a preset here. This was using Seesaw, so you see it plays and then it bounces back, plays it back in reverse. And that's just one sample. You see, we've got a couple more here. So this sound is using uh, three samples. Let's see what this is. All right, so this is another sound from, I think this one was pulled in from Cosmos, I believe, yeah. And then lastly, what is this? All right, so that was another sub bass, and that came from Cosmos as well. All right, going back to Cosmos, so I've got just the Waves folder open, and if we look at this view, just to show you, any of these Wave sounds are going to start with WA, which is obviously for Waves audio. But turning on my sounds, I'm going to turn off the Wave sounds. I just want to show you, we'll go to this view because you can see more information. Uh, but just showing you, so these are all my sounds from my sound library, and you can see that it analyzed it, it shows the length, uh, the key, as well as the BPM, and it has also tagged it. Now, if you want to uh, edit these tags, all you have to do is go here, right-click them, and you have edit tags, edit attributes. You can also show where it is in the finder, and you also get more information about that file. All right, so CR8, kind of my final thoughts here. I think this is a nice direction for Waves to go in, and the sampler is only $9.99. Cosmos is free. I think what's going to happen here is we're getting you know, the sampler for $10, and I think eventually uh, we'll see Waves release some sound packs of samples that will add to this to help it grow as a product. But I found it very easy to use. A lot of other samplers can be overwhelming to me with just too much buttons, knobs, controls. I normally use Sample 1 from Studio One because of its simplicity. Uh, but one thing I noticed that CR8 doesn't have, and that's effects. I did find that kind of odd. There's no EQ reverb delay, uh, stuff like that built in the CR8. But to be fair, Waves makes a bunch of those plugins already. And you can very easily, uh, let's see, let me show this here. You can take these samples from Cosmos, and I can drag them directly into Studio One. So they don't have to go into CR8. And so if I do that, I can then add reverb, delay, EQ, process it, do what I, whatever I want to do with it, and then bounce that out and bring that into uh, CR8 and do more to it. Uh, so I will have a link in the description if you want to check this out and learn more about it. Uh, follow my channel because I will be having more videos on CR8, uh, just some tutorial videos. I won't cover everything in this video here. So... Uh, definitely subscribe and you'll get those videos when they come out. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, uh, let me know and I'll catch y'all next time. I invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, a podcast about pro audio and beyond. Season three is now underway, and in this season, we'll be doing a lot of topics requested by listeners. So if you have a topic you want to hear discussed on the podcast, email us, DM us, or join us in our Facebook group, Faders Up Podcast, and let us know. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I have a link in the description that'll take you to the page.